Hello and welcome to this Mango Map screencast. This screencast is going to be focusing on how we can take an ordinary spreadsheet and turn it into an interactive web map on Mango. Now Mango is often used by people who have a background in digital mapping or as it's called in the industry GIS which stands for Geographic Information Systems but we also have a lot of customers who use Mango who have no background in mapping and are currently working with standard spreadsheets. So a question we get asked a lot is how can I go from a standard spreadsheet into a data format that would allow me to create maps. So what we're gonna be looking at today is how to take those standard spreadsheets and how to use basic GIS tools in order to transform that data into map-ready data which we can upload to Mango to create interactive web maps like the one that we see on screen. Um, for this screencast, we're going to be working with some fictitious data. It's data for a car dealership network operating in Texas, US. Okay, there are two sheets in the spreadsheet. The first sheet is a list of the locations, our current dealerships. And as you can see, they're in Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Houston. And the spreadsheet just contains standard data, telephone number, street address, uh, and the zip code. And we have a second spreadsheet, which is your standard sales spreadsheet. It's a list of all of the county names within Texas. We have the number of sales that occurred um, to people that live in that county. We have the population of the county and we also have the median household income. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's pretend that our car dealership network is selling high-end cars. So as a company, we're really interested in any locations in Texas that have uh, high populations and also have a high median household income. So let's take a look at the end result. At the end of this course, we're gonna give you all of the tools that you need and all of the skills that you need in order to turn your spreadsheet data into um, engaging interactive web maps like the one that you see on screen. So let's take a look at this web map and let's take a look at some of the benefits of displaying your spreadsheet data within an interactive web map. So here we have the map. What we can see on screen, the green dots represent the current dealerships and we can see an outline of all of the counties in Texas. Uh, they're currently shaded in red. The darker the red, the greater the volume of sales. And if we click on an individual county, we can see more information. So this is Bexar County, uh, which is home to San Antonio. It has a population of 1.7 million people. It has $45,000 uh, as the medium household income. And we made 108 sales there in two, 2015. And as you can see, San Antonio doesn't currently have a dealership. So all of those sales to people who live in that county were to people who traveled to our other dealerships in uh, probably Austin or Houston. Okay, now in the spreadsheet, you'll remember we also had the population data and household income data. Uh, this data is important to us because it allows us to identify locations that um, have a potentially uh, a high chance of, of us um, closing sales. So let's turn on the population data. Um, so here we can see the counties uh, by population and we can see that most of the population is clustered around Fort Worth and Houston. And we can also turn on the household income layer so we can see any pockets of wealth within Texas. Now, the maps don't just allow you to, to visualize the data uh, and click on the counties. Um, maps created with Mango also allow you to ask some pretty complex questions. For example, we can use the query tool, which is just one of the many tools available in Mango that allow you to um, analyze and query the data. And we can ask a complex question such as, I would like to find all of the counties that have a population greater than 200,000 and have an average household income that is above 35,000 US dollars. And from, I would like to find all of the counties that are further than 100 miles from a dealership. So let's press get results. So there we go, we get boom, we get six results back and we can immediately see counties that, that would probably be of interest to us. Uh, we could probably answer these same kind of questions with a spreadsheet, but it would require that we have local knowledge regarding uh, the locations of these counties, and it would probably take a long time to sift through the data for all of those counties. But using a web-based query, we can instantly get those results back, 
and we can easily identify clusters. So if I was looking at this data and I was thinking about where to open a new dealership, I would say we really need a dealership in the south of Texas because we're already making sales there. There's some counties that have high population and high median household income. So we'd probably do well in that area and close more sales if we had a dealership that was closer to home uh, for those people. What's more, Mango makes it really easy to share these insights with other people inside your organization. So once I've built my own visualization, for example, this query, I can download the results as a spreadsheet and then I could email those results to my boss. Or if I saw something particularly interesting in the map, I can hit the print button. The print will generate a PDF. Which I can then save and share with other people in my organization. It's also possible for me to share a link to the map. So using the linking tool, uh, we can choose to use the current location of the map. We can copy the URL and then we could send that URL to somebody via chat or email. And when they open the link, they'll see the exact location in the map. Also within Mango, your data is completely secure. Once the data has been uploaded to Mango, it's not shared with any third parties and it's not publicly accessible unless you choose to make it so. You can also secure and password protect your maps in order to control access. Okay, so if you're still watching, I think you realize that this course is for you and you're gonna learn some valuable skills and you've already seen what the end result of those skills can look like and how you can create maps that can give you some really, really valuable insights into the data of your organization. So now let's get into the nuts and bolts of the specific skills that you're going to learn during this video course. Okay, so we're gonna teach you how to find and source map data. This is map data that can be joined with your spreadsheet data in order to build these visualizations. We're going to teach you how to do joins. Joins are the process of taking your spreadsheet, for example, a spreadsheet that contains the counties of Texas, and joining it to physical map data that contains the outlines for those counties. So joining those together into one data set. We're then gonna teach you how to clean up data sets. So often when you download map data from a third party, it's gonna contain um, columns and attribute data that you're not really interested in. It might also contain uh, locations that you're not interested in. For example, we might download uh, the counties of the USA when we're only really interested in the counties of Texas. So we're gonna teach you how to clean the data. We're also gonna teach you how to geocode addresses. Geocoding is the process of, of taking uh, an address written as text and finding the lat long coordinate of that specific address so that we can map it. And once we've prepared all of that data, we're gonna show you how you can pull the whole thing together, upload that data into Mango and create a fantastic interactive web map application like the one that you see on screen right now.